Welcome back, welcome back to another Q-Tip Fridays. I'm over here in Wynwood. I need to go get, get a haircut. I got a flight coming up. A lot of things going on, you know what I'm saying? But today's video is important for people that pretty much want to be around other people that is doing well, that's doing you know good, good for themselves, but at the same time, um, understands that you know all the people that is around them they want to actually do just as well as well you know what i'm saying but also just being mindful that you don't want to be around a selfish person you know so today's video is called cheering on cheering on your your teammates you know what i'm saying your teammates can be your friends people just the people that, that that you're around in your daily life it could be in business it could just be this normal friends like you know not business partners but at the same time people that you're around often you know what i'm saying um one thing that you know i've seen over time over the past like maybe like five or six years that like you know people will go in business with each other and then you know you have that one person that that, that want to do so much better than the other person and pretty much just kind of like you know drag about being better and and all these things when how does that help the situation you know what i'm saying like how does you bragging to a person that you're supposed to be friends with and partners with help the situation? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's that's like you're, if they're, it's very degrading. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't encourage your friends to want to do better because now you're literally just laughing in their face that they're not doing better. You want to be around people that pretty much see that you can do better for yourself and help you do better. All right, this, this road is bumpy as hell. You wanna be around people that, that pretty much can see your potential and help you reach your full potential and not feel any kind of way towards it, not feel like you um they owe, they owe you something or you owe them something. People that genuinely wanna help you. That's kind of people that I feel like you should be around like, like when it comes to business. If a person is... Is bringing up let's say all these things that that they did for you to pretty much get you to where you are now and that kind of shit then it wasn't genuine in the first place you know what i'm saying so you you always want to be around a person that's pretty much you know doing things based off of just genuine love and just caring about you because when it's not like that it gets nasty you know what i'm saying like things are always kind of thrown in your face when a big thing happens you know like those are the kind of friends that don't clap when you have a big accomplishment you know what i'm saying they just like laugh in your face or like they just sit there and be like oh cool but but they would have never been anything without me though good job but they would have never been anything without me though why like, why would you want to be around that kind of person you know what i'm saying like if you have friends that are making these big accomplishments yo congrats them you know what i'm saying clap for them because at times th those claps it might just it might just be like one clap but at the same time those claps from that certain person might be everything that they're hoping for and like when you're not doing th those claps imagine how it must make them feel you know what i'm saying because you clapping can just encourage them even more to just want to do better now just, just, just keep on growing you know what i'm saying like and as, and as you see your friends grow, why would you want them to be any less than what you are? E even even if they surpass you, congrats. It doesn't matter because at the same time, like if if a person is considering themselves a friend, it shouldn't matter if if they're further than you, like lesser than you. It, it shouldn't even matter, honestly. You know what I'm saying? As long as you guys are having like a good bond and are still building a bond based on whatever you guys are working on that's all that matters that's all that that matters and even like when it comes to um you know like like my niche that i'm in we see this kind of stuff all, all the time because it's based around money so like people always you know want to you know shit on that that other person shit on that other group it's a common thing but in reality like look at the broader perspective of things right Everybody's healthy. Everybody's making money. Everybody's living how they want to live. 
that alone should be like, wow, bro, like we're fucking doing great for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like not comparing who is above and that kind of stuff. At the same time, just look at the broader perspective of things, right? We're all doing good. We're all doing, we're in a better spot than a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And to actually like at times take a step back and it's like look at things on that point of view, I feel like that's when you could actually appreciate like, God damn, you know what? Like why should we hate on each other when we're all just still having fun, making money, traveling on when we want to, buying what we want to buy, you know, just meeting people that we want to meet. Like all these things are accomplishments that are uncommon. You know what I'm saying? So to actually try to actually hate on those things based on a person's accomplishments in a friend circle, it doesn't make sense. That that envious feeling is is the most worst thing that you could actually ever experience with a friend. You know, the, the, the people that are envious, I seen on the video, the people that hate on you hate from a far away. You know what I'm saying? Like you, those people are not close to you. The people that are envious, they could be like right next to you. And that's scary because they could be next to you the entire time watching your entire move and knowing and learning more things about you and then pretty much stab you in your back when you least expect it because they were envious from the start. And when that envious comes out, it's nasty. It's like, what the fuck? Like, that's how you, that's how you think about me? That's weird, you know? So you want to actually try to pick up those signs and those red flags from a person early. It could be the smallest comment. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be just, oh, um, you're doing a, all right. Oh, cool. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like very, very, just like a nonchalant type replies to certain things you know what i'm saying like no claps and that kind of stuff like no kind of big congratulations yo bro good shit N none of that it's just more just like very very subtle like oh cool you're, you're, you're doing good for yourself cool you know what i'm saying it's like it's very very subtle but when you notice certain red flags from a person that has some kind of envious traits trust me stay clear of those people right there because it brings bad energy over time it's things that you don't want to experience, you know what I'm saying? Because when it hurts you, it actually hurts you because who it's coming from. If it was from somebody else that you don't know, then fuck it, whatever. But at the same time, like when it's envious, and when it's envy, period, it's coming from a person that, that, that that's close, that a person that knows you, a person that pretty much is probably even around your family, all these things, but they're envious of you the entire time because of the, of the kind of accomplishments that you're making, you know what I'm saying? So try to be around people that are willing to clap for you and cheer you on as you pretty much get better at life and pretty much learn life as you go through life. If it's not c congratulations, then it's envy. It's envy or it's hate, period. We're looking for, for those people that pretty much, <laughs> woo, good shit, woo. You know what I'm saying? Like we're looking for those, those kind of people. We want friends that are gonna be our cheerleaders as well because I'm trying to be all of my close friends' cheerleaders. It doesn't matter. Like, yo, you made a big accomplishment? Yo, like, let's celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Like, it matters, you know? If it matters to you, then it definitely matters to me then. You know what I'm saying? You like it and I love it. That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? So that sums up th this week's video. Be around friends that want to see you win. Be around friends that want to see you grow. Be around friends that want to see you just do better at life without having any kind of, en of envious traits. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to holler at you guys. Q-Tip Fridays. Until next week. Peace out.